Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to discuss about cash management in SAP S4 HANA financial supply chain management. So cash management is the sub module of financial supply chain management and in the cash of management we have two sub options first one is cash operation calculation and the second one is liquidity for cash calculation so the basic purpose of cash operation calculation is to calculate the current liquidity of the entity like how much liquidity of the entity is in the current period and backward in the previous periods so we are going to check out the current liquidity and the current cash available for that entity so that will be calculated using the cash operations and liquidity forecast is used to calculate the future liquidity of the entity like how much liquidity would, will be available for that entity in the coming periods like for the next month what would be, what would be the liquidity of the entity and in the next week what would be the liquidity and system is going to calculate the liquidity automatically based upon the configuration we are going to do and we in the current session we are going to discuss only about the configuration of cash operations and how the system is going to calculate the current cash operations and current cash of the entity so let's check out the fury report and then we are going to come to the configuration of the cash operation so first of all let me check out the cash flow analyzer report and here we can see that so for our company 1710 we have the cash available in four different currencies and we have the bank accounts in four currencies so let's check out in USD we have company code 1710 so here we can see that this is opening balance in the 19th of March this is the opening balance and that would be the outflow and this was the inflows these two values were the inflows and this is the total closing balance of this company code so we can check out from here as well in INR we have a separate bank account so for that INR we are going to have only the outflow of the cash so this is represented as, as the in as the opening balance and after the calculation of outflows this is the closing balance of this bank account which we are going to maintain in currency INR and this is the currency in USD so we can see that we have the planning level so the basic purpose of planning level is to differentiate the different types of inflows and outflows so as per the configuration we are going to define the multiple planning levels and using the planning levels we are going to differentiate multiple types of inflows and outflows so let's check out the planning levels we are going to define in the system and SAP already provide us standard planning levels and if there is any requirement we can create multiple planning levels as per our requirement as well so let's check out the planning levels so for this we are going to configure go to SPRO SAP reference IMG SAP financial supply chain management cash and liquidity management cash management so we have planning levels so first of all we are going to check out the planning levels okay so in this fury report we have seen that the s1 was the planning level and let's check out in the configuration s1 planning level which it is going to display so we can see that the s1 is used for the sale order inflows so whenever we are going to create the sale order system will automatically book the balance of inflows for that sale order so that sale order values will be booked as the cash inflows and this is differentiated using the S1 planning level so we are going to assign the planning levels 
to the general ledger accounts so let's check out the general ledger account so for each general ledger account we are going to assign the planning level let me see that we have a bank transfer so here go to cre create bank interest tab so here we can see that this is the planning level so here we are going to assign the planning level so based upon the planning level whenever we are going to post any outgoing payment for the vendor so system will automatically display as the planning level b2 outflows so it is relevant to cash flow so this is the basic purpose of planning level differentiation so in the cash flows we are not going to use the general ledger account we can drill down to the general ledger account but the basic analysis will be made using the planning levels so we have done with the planning level so these are the planning level already defined by SAP so right now we have not any such requirement but if there is any requirement we can create our own customized planning levels as well so these planning levels will be assigned to the source so multiple sources are available like the sources of cash outflows and inflows from material management uh, from sales and distribution and multiple sources are available in the system so these are the defined by the SAP so these are the standard we cannot create or delete any SAP defined sources but if there is any requirement we can we have to make the customization so these are the so this is for bank accounting second one is for material management so we can see that s1 is used for sales and distribution because we are going to create the sale order in the sales and distribution module and from that module system is going to create the cash inflows so we have done with the planning levels so whenever we are going to cre create our own cash flow so we are going to assign these planning levels to our general ledger accounts so second one is planning group so we can see that these are the planning groups so the basic purpose of planning groups are used to assign the planning groups to the customer and vendor master data and these planning groups are ultimately assigned to the planning levels so we can see that a1 is the planning group which is ultimately assigned to the planning level F1 so F1 let's check out the F1 so this is the posting of purchasing and sales so this is ultimately assigned to the planning levels but because we have not any option available in the customer and vendor master data for the assignment of planning levels we are going to assign the planning group only and system will automatically pick up the planning levels so let's check out the customer and vendor master data go to BP and let's check out any customer or vendor master data go to the customer and vendor master data and here we have go to company code information so here we have a planning group so you can see that this is the planning group right now there is not planning group is not assigned to this customer but we have A1 to A6 for the customers and E1 to E8 for the uh, for the for the vendors we have A1 to A6 but for the customers we are going to use the planning group of E1 to E8 so multiple planning levels are going to use but in the Cash, cash flow analyzer report we are going to check out the planning level only and system is automatically pick up the planning level from the planning groups so this is the pur purpose of planning groups so next we have so here we have check out the sources as well so let's check out the sources assignment let's come back and we have a sources assignment as well and go to source symbol so these are the sources and sources so source of B and K is used for the cash flow only 
because we are going to check out the current liquidity and current liquidity will only be maintained using the current cash flow available for in the, our bank accounts and bank accounting is used for the preparation of cash flows for the current cash flow preparation current liquidity analysis we are going to use the bank accounting information only but if we are going to check out the liquidity forecast and for that reason we are going to use these information coming from material management from sub ledger accounting and sales and distribution and real estate management and these sources are used only for liquidity forecast for current cash flow analysis reporting we are only going to use bank accounting information only so that was the reason we are going to check out this option of cash position so we have multiple so let's check out further so we have planning level for logistics as well so let's check out so these are the planning levels m1 m2 m3 s1 so we can see that s1 is used for sales order so these are planning levels for logistics only so whenever we are going to create the purchase order system is system will automatically book up the outflows using the m2 so this is this is the purpose of logistic planning levels okay let's check our maintain block levels so these block levels are used whenever we are we have our customer or vendor invoice uh, so most of the cases that uh, will be for vendor invoices and we have block indicator assigned to that vendor invoice let's check out so let's check out any vendor master data go to fpl1n and we are going to display the open items execute so these are the customer invoices and we have a block indicator let's create a block indicator here so we are unable to prepare any payment if that payment for this invoice is blocked so I'm going to assign this block indicator and save so whenever we are going to assign any block indicator to any vendor invoice system will automatically change the planning level so let's check out here we are going to assign the planning level okay let's create block indicator so block indicator will be the a block level so this will be the outgoing checks okay we have wrongly assigned go to b1 and xx so what the system will do belongs to cash operations okay okay this for this we are going to Sign another one. Let's check out. Okay, we are going to assign supplier financing. Okay, okay, cannot be combined. agency business so like this we are going to assign the planning level for block indicator so whenever we are going to change the status of the invoice system will automatically change the planning level for that line item okay let's go to special GL transaction levels okay so whenever we are going to create 
the special GL indicators so we have an option available to assign the planning level as well so for different special GL indicators we are going to assign the different planning levels and using the planning levels we are going to check out the differentiation between the multiple special GL indicators let's check out define so here in this screen we are going to define the special GL indicators and for each special GL indicator we are going to assign okay so here we are going to assign the planning levels and system will automatically segregate different types of special GL transactions using the planning levels so this is the basic purpose for assignment of planning levels so planning level is only used for cash management only so this is all about the basic introduction of cash flows so here we have cash flow analyzer report and we are going to check out this check out this is cash trade let's come back we are going to check out another report so this is cash flows okay we are going to check out so our fear is a bit slow so the fury is a bit slow so let's check out all the other features of cash flows and calculation of current cash flows and liquidity forecast in the next session as well so this was only the introduction of cash flow operations so we are going to create the cash flows statement of cash flows using for external reporting as well and we are going to create our own standard hierarchy of different bank accounts and for that hierarchy we are going to calculate the cash flow of the entity so it's now working this is the cash flow analyzer basic report we have other reports as well come back So this is this is the report for cash liquidity forecast details. This is for cash flows. So we are going to create all the cash related reports in the coming sessions as well. So this is all about the cash operations. So see you in the next session. Thank you for watching this video.